As millions of people turn their protected eyes up to catch a glimpse of the eclipse, scientists say animals tend to respond in their own way. As soon as totality happens, uh, the animal kingdom, similar to humans, end up reacting to the fact that lights are going off, time to go to bed. Like these bees in Tennessee that suddenly returned to their hives seven years ago. In Carbondale, Illinois, a prime eclipse viewing spot in 2017 and in the path of totality again in 2024, researchers will have a rare back-to-back -back chance to study the impact on wildlife. Further our understanding of wildlife responses to, to big-scale, big large-scale changes. Scientists aren't only focusing on what the eclipse looks like from the sky, but also what it sounds like here on Earth. There's been a lot of evidence that crickets uh, respond pretty quickly to this change in light. So by listening to the eclipse, we're engaging a whole new group of folks in the scientific process. One group of animals that may not care about the eclipse are pets. They tend to be a little smarter than we are. Uh, we, they know not to stare at the sun. That means no eclipse glasses required for your furry friend, but the top veterinarian for the American Kennel Club says think twice about bringing pets into big crowds on Monday. Dogs that have a tendency to be anxious or stressed, this may exacerbate that. One more thing to consider for the last coast to coast eclipse in a generation. Jared Hill, CBS News, New York.